All right, let's try to use this universal cylinder builder. So I've got FreeCAD open. I've already got it downloaded. So first thing to do is open the spreadsheet. And, you know, typically a cylinder is specced by bore, by stroke, by rod diameter, possibly. And I learned that here. So you can check this page out. So there's, you know, there's that. <clears throat> so let's try a bore of, I don't know, eight inches. Wall thickness of a quarter inch is fine. An eight inch bore, we should probably do Maybe like a nine inch thickness. Two inch calf thickness is probably good. Tie rod diameter of a half inch. Let's go to five eighths. And let's make our stroke, I don't know, 12 inches. Our rod outer diameter. Let's make that a little bit beefier. Let's make it, I don't know, three and a half inches. Rod stick out, we don't really care. So then the seals, this is where it can screw up. Um. Let's see, all right, piston thickness, three inches, let's make that four inches. Inner height, five sixteenths is fine. That's a little bit small. Let's make it three eighths. And this will default to a half inch less than the tube bore, so that's already set. Cap seal outer, half inch, half inch, that's fine. This should be our rod diameter, and that's about a half inch less than the rod diameter. That's right. Um, wait a second. That's outer diameter and inner diameter. So this is right, but this should be... That doesn't default to that. Okay. Oops. Make that four. We'll make that four. Okay. Let's try that. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, this sketch we're having an issue with. Four and a half inches. What was our nine? Let's get a larger, get ten. I mean, we still have two and a half inches. Two inches there. Let's see if that fixed it. That looks a lot better. I wonder what happened there. We were at nine, and it didn't like that. It doesn't wanna. I don't think that, I don't think that updated. Okay, so it did update. Well, that looks pretty good. I mean, that's a beefy cylinder right there. So what we'll do is we'll save this as 
to our desktop. I'm gonna save this as uh, what, did, what did we make that? That was eight by um, our stroke was twelve by was three point five. Let's see, eight by twelve by three point five. Okay, yeah. So this is our part file now. I'm sorry, this 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 is what we'll use to create the parts. So what I'm gonna do is just select everything and I'm gonna make a copy, a simple copy, so that we don't have all these constraints uh, bogging us down. Because part and <clears throat> create simple copy. So now we have a bunch of simple copies. I can exit this spreadsheet. I can select all my groups here. And delete. Yeah. And now we're just left with this nice everything we need for a cylinder. And we can start doing some mates. Now, I don't know too much about Assembly 2 yet. I haven't played with it extensively. I'm going to deselect that. I'm just going to do this face. I'm going to delete the seals. Oh, look at the size of that port. I got to fix that. It just defaults to some large value that it can, the largest value it can squeeze in. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so now all we have to do is maybe move our tie rod up. And obviously this just gives you a starting point. Um, because there's a lot more that goes into the manufacture of one of these. But that should be a 8 by 12 by 3.5 cylinder right there. So hopefully this helps.